Hello, I'm Preston Kendall, the president of Cristo Rey St. Martin College Prep. We are literally behind the scenes here today, um, and we're behind the scenes of our fall theatrical production, and um, it's just such a great experience. You know, we've had theater even before moving to our new campus, uh, but it was always limited in what the students were able to, to do. Uh, here, we now have a stage, we have a workshop, uh, and it's been a tremendous experience. So in this production, we had over 10% of our entire student body participating. And it's such an incredible experience when um, you have a team of students that are working on scenery, uh, uh, building the scenery. There, there's uh, sound, there's lighting, there's the cast, there's, there's stage management. All of these things coming together and seeing the students work as a team has been really phenomenal. And believe me, they are killing it, literally. Here's Liz Partnick to tell you more about our fall play. Thanks, Preston. Well, our students love a murder mystery. And this year's drama committee chose the classic And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. Ms. Christie first released this story as a novel in 1939 and then re-released it as a play in 1943, but with a happier ending. On the 125th anniversary of her birth, her grandson, Matthew Pritchard, re-released the play yet again, but this time he gave directors the option to choose which of the endings they would use. Take a look and see what our students chose to use. And you are responsible for the death of Patrice Taylor. Very Elizabeth Claiborne, that you killed Peter Ogilvy Hamilton. Joanna Grace McKenzie, that you sent your wife's lover, Arthur Richmond, to his death. Have you anything to say in your defense? 